Hi guys, how are we doing this week? So, I've not actually even finished this week's spread, um, but I'm kind of okay with that. It's it's enough. It's been a hectic week. Um, it is my daughter's birthday on Tuesday. Look, I'm not even done February. It's my daughter's birthday on Tuesday, and we had our annual sleepover. We have... I think we had six girls this year like and I am tired so it is it's like half past ten and I am just getting ready to do my spread for next week because I think if I don't do it now I definitely won't have time to do it till tomorrow night and if I don't have it done by Monday I'm just not as productive so I was going to do a birthday spread for this week but I just didn't get around to doing one and I half did this one last week but didn't get time to finish it so I have just quickly finished this one up and I really like it. So I decided to do leopard print because I have some sticker books from when I went to America and spent all the money in Michaels and I've just been hoarding them I'm not even gonna lie I've been absolutely ridiculous I've not been using them because they're too pretty and then my youngest daughter spilt water over them this week and I literally just thought what am I doing if I'd have used these she wouldn't have spilt water over them so I'm now on a mission and I looked through and I was like right there's so many beautiful like black and gold foil leopardy print ones so that's what I'm doing this week black gold foil and leopard I'm sure like Rora likes elephants so elephants leopards it's kind of okay <laughs> to be fair she's not even gonna see and be like why is this spread not a birthday spread so I do have some new ones to show you this week again there's not been as many like my list Oh, look, I jumped through that one. My list of stuff I have to make is huge and my time is not huge. Um, but I have done a new tracker sticker, which I said I was going to do one a week. Why can I not stick this one in? It's jumping all around. And we are now, what, are we in the fourth or the fifth week of 2020 and I've not done one? But I've done one. I drew, I drew one today. Um, so yeah, like my daughter, wow, she, they all went quiet at like half 10. I stayed up till maybe midnight and I was like, yeah, they've gone to sleep. Like, I, it's fine. I can't hear them anymore. And then half two, I just woke up and they were all giggling. And I think they just played me. I think they were just talking so quietly that I couldn't hear. And then when they heard me come upstairs, they were all quiet and then... Yeah, they got up and started giggling. And, but Rora seems absolutely fine today. But like, we went to church and then me and Lincoln, we napped. We were like, whoa, no, we're done. This is too much. As so yeah, it's been the most chilled out afternoon ever, which was really good while it was happening. I was like, yeah, this is exactly what we need. And now at half past 10, I'm like, oh, I've got a lot of stuff to do before tomorrow starts. We've just frantically hunted around and put a load of washing on for school uniforms. I've realised I've not actually wrapped any of her presents for Tuesday. Yeah, to say I'm a planner girl, sometimes I'm really, really disorganised. Please tell me that everyone else is like that. Although on the plus side, I do know all the stuff I've got to do. I've just not done it. So maybe I'm not disorganised, maybe I'm just lazy. Who knows? Although I've got three kids, so I don't think you can ever be truly lazy with three kids. I should have got the um, the stickers from America out so you could see. Although if you're following my Instagram, I will post so many pictures in the stories of how this one progresses. I think I'm going to go to bed after this and take my planner to bed and write a to-do list for tomorrow so I feel when I wake up I'm not going to be totally behind so what was I saying yeah so there's a new tracker coming this week it is all drawn up and I just need to 
transfer it off the iPad and make some little tweaks. And then there'll be a new tracker, which I'm very, very excited about because it has been way too long. Um, there's some new gonks coming soon. I don't know if I'll get time to finish them this week. I'm hoping I will, but as the St. Patrick's Day ones and Easter ones, so I do feel like I've got a little bit of time before they're um, desperately needed in the shop. I am going to, it'll be this week or next week though, time dependent and birthday dependent. So we just have... Does anyone else do this where like kids' birthdays just turn into like a week long celebration? Or is it just me? Am I am I being too good to my kids? Like sort of sleepover and bowling on Saturday, which then of course carried into today. Tomorrow we're going out for a meal. Um, because on Tuesdays she goes to well, we all go to my mum's house and then she has cubs. So like that, we don't have a lot of time on Tuesday. So we were like, right, well, let's go out for a meal on Monday. So that's celebrating. My mum's obviously going to get her a cake because she's a grandma, isn't she? So she's going to completely spoil her on her birthday. And to be fair, it is her birthday. So that is the one day we should do stuff. But yeah, that's like, what is that? That's like five days of her birthday stuff right there. She's cute though. I like her. I proper like her. She's going to be nine, which is super weird because I'm like... 21. Don't quite know how that's happened. I'm not 21 for anyone who is doing the maths there and thinking, oh, that can't be right. Um, I'm definitely old enough to have a nine-year-old daughter. I just don't feel like I'm old enough to have a nine-year-old daughter. Like, I've kept a kid alive for nine years. I should definitely be getting some presents on Tuesday too. Because that is a good effort. A really good effort. Oh, I do love this. Oh, also, I've done this other sheet um, just because I'm going really, really hard on the leopard print this week. So I've done a little functional sheet, just some flags, some dots, some boxes so I can properly, properly be all out leopard print this week. So I've started writing, oh, in this very, very wonky box. Let me see if I can. So if you... You can normally, if you're really quick, you can get them back up. But just stick them right the first time. I keep on telling myself this. Um, I started doing a Bible quote in the top box, which I really like. I get a daily Bible verse to my inbox. And every Monday for the past few weeks, I've been like, oh, this is a really good one. Like, you know, when something just proper resonates with you and you're like, oh, oh, oh my days. It is too late, guys. It is way too late. Do not do the planner's red when you should have been in bed like half an hour ago. Because you just, I'm just sticking stuff in the wrong places. How many weeks have I been doing this now? I should know which ones go where, but I don't. I'm really looking forward to getting some foil down as well. This one's going to be so shiny. I've got so much to fill in. I need to, like, I've got post-it notes all over my desk of stuff that's going to need to happen this week. So I've changed up these boxes a little bit. Again, I'm still trying to make these boxes, like, the most um, efficient. Is that the right word? Like, I, I'm having the best intentions with them, but they're still just not quite making me as productive as I want to be. So I'm not going to rush in to fill them out this week. But I've done some more prominent lines. Um, just so it makes my writing look straight. Because I think if I scribble stuff, I just don't do it. I need to like see it really, really clearly. So we've gone for some really defined lines. I'm definitely going to do a self-care one. That's been working out good. I should do a business one. I should do a load of business ones. But I don't know if I'm just overwhelming myself with stuff I want to do and looking at it and being like, oh, there's so much and then not actually doing any of it. Because I do get like that. Sometimes I just think there is so much. I don't know where to start. So I won't start. And that's not good for anyone. 
And I also don't know just how much I'm going to get done this week. Like normally I spend Sunday afternoon catching up on orders. And what I have done is spend Sunday afternoon napping. So I think I'm starting tomorrow on like 24 orders. Which is great. Thank you so much. But at the same time, just like, oh, my days. I can't. I need to be on top of my game. I don't like being over 10. I do like being over 10, but I also feel very in control. 10 and under, I'm like, yeah, it's all good. Um, over 20, and I'm like, oh, I need to. I might do some before bed. So just a quick look at the new stuff. We've got some recycling stickers. Someone asked for greenhouse stickers, and I've finally done them. They asked, like, before Christmas. But they're here. They're here. I said I will try to do them when I can. They're here. Um, cute little love hearts for Valentine's Day. Some noodles. This is just because I really want to go to Wagamama. So I was like, if I make the stickers, I might go. And then a cat in a bag. Because why not? So there will be, this one will be £2.50 in the shop. However, if you purchase the Passion Planner Clip, oh, that went wrong. The Passion Planner Kit, this one will just be a pound to add on to it. So you can be all leopard print. All right, guys, I am going to bed because it is super late. Hope you like the spread. I will see you next week. <laughs> see you later.